So you went to school in the United States. How has that prop experience impacted your art and your view of Thailand? The way art is taught in Thailand is they put an emphasis on draftsmanship because it's pretty much like the classical way. And if I had stayed on in school in Thailand, I wouldn't have become an artist. I remember the first art class that I had in the U.S. and I was really surprised because they didn't care if I could draw or not. The emphasis was more on how I develop my style, my hands, and so I got all I got at that time was you know the encouragement that I didn't that I wasn't getting in in an art class in Thailand because because basically I couldn't draw, but eventually I learned how to draw. But I but it took me longer than you know than people than other people. But I mean I. I Eventually, I, I found my way. So you said that your early works weren't very political or dealing with social and religious issues. So how did your interest in these issues develop? In the past few years, I mean, Thailand have had politically it has been very unstable. We've had um, many unrests in the past few years, every year, and I was never really interested in in politics at all until. A few years, a few years ago, that I couldn't quite ignore it. So when I couldn't quite ignore it, I became part of it. And my only way to to express my feelings was through my art. And I later realized that politics is politics. You know, they don't change. Politicians are the same everywhere, so now I try to ignore it as much as I can because I was I found myself just so involved in it, and then I was you know emotionally really drained. But I mean that was so my art was was my you know my therapy at that time. But but now I try not to to think about it much. What do you do when you're not making art? I sleep a lot. I watch a lot of TV. Um, I because I'm I'm really interested in in this in the pop culture, you know, in in what goes on um, in my time. So so I I basically I mean most of my inspirations come from anything around me, things that I see, all the All the bad movies, all the you know, all the stupid TV shows and all that. But I also get a lot of a lot of the materials from from that as well. If you had to choose, what would be your last meal? <laughs> That's easy. Um, fried chicken, rice, and lots of wine. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.